Hey y'all. Calvin's Corner checking in. Oh yeah. Just like old Bill Gowdy. Calvin's Corner is checking in. Today I'm doing this video. It's gonna be a cast iron Wednesday video. And so that's a big shout out to Shovelhead 8 and Native Tears. I'll have all these links down below. Bill Gowdy's Shovelhead 8 and Native Tears down below. Y'all need to check them out because they do some awesome, awesome videos and they have some great content. Especially the cast iron Wednesdays. Bill Gowdy did a vegetable beef stew and um, I want to do the same. I'm going to put a little spin on it. I may add some or take some away from what he had, but I will have the actual uh, recipe that Bill Gowdy had down below in the description. So if you want to check it out and do it yourself, you're welcome to check it out and do it yourself. All right, y'all. Let's get on over here on the corner. Do some cooking. By the way, y'all, I'm going to have to omit the, uh, I don't know how to say this, but it's spelled K-O-H-L-R-A-B-I, and in its place, I'm using zucchini. I'm omitting and not using the barley or the butter beans because I don't like bar, um, uh, butter beans and the only barley I want is cats and beer. Look at the goodness. <laughs> Pepper, zucchini, uh, everything. What about the garlic? We got <laughs> garlic, yeah. We got everything. Mushrooms, you name it. Only thing I don't have in here is carrots. Beef broth. Cook this down, and like Bill said, I'm gonna have to add water to it as it goes down. Did I forget to say beef tips? Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Cooked them in the cash too peanut and olive oil. It's even better warmed up. Yeah, there's some uh, carbs in that uh, barley, but uh, I think the health benefits outweigh the amount of carbs that are in there. Oh, man. All right, now, I'm going to be putting on my Cabela's lid with my camp made. This is part of my my little cook set I got. If y'all are interested in any camp made items, I'll have a link down below. And tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have Bill Gowdy's link down below. So you get 20% off. All you gotta do is put Gowdy 20 in and you get 20% off. I'm doing this in his honor. That's that. Hey guys, I gotta let this cook for a little while. Once it's cooked down, then I'm gonna add the uh, rice cauliflower. I think this is awesome. If you're diabetic like me, and I'm only type two, but I'm working to get out of it. Something like this is something for you. Really need to try it out, it's low carb and it's filling, and it's good for your body. It's superfoods, makes your body work better. So, I hope y'all like this video. If you do, give me a like, big thumbs up, you know, and uh, drop me a comment. Be sure to get over and check out Bill Gowdy, check out Shovelhead 8, and Native Tears.
Oh, she's cooking down. It's looking real good, guys. Golly, I, I wish I could smell this. Good Lord. All them beef tips in there. Jalapenos. Broccoli. Sweet peppers. Mushrooms. Tomatoes. Garlic. Mm -mm -mm. It's like music to my nose. Looks like to me it's cooked down pretty good. It's time for some rice cauliflower. I'd never heard of rice cauliflower until watching Bill Gowdy. I went to the store and sure enough they had it. It's really neat y'all. All right, I'm gonna stir this in, cover it up, about one more hour, she's ready to cook. Y'all get around here, where the getting's good, on the corn. Can you say hickory nuts? Good God, they're everywhere. Tell you what, you gotta love this little tool. It's for holding your lid up too. It's a kickstand made by Camp Made. If you can see that or not. I'm telling you, if you want some of this awesome Dutch oven cooking tools, check that link out down below, campmade.com. Just remember, Gowdy 20. Oh, and it's on my arm. Yeah. Go deer hunting and pulls an oak. That's what happens. All right, y'all, let's try some of this goodness out. Now, this is not a stew. I did mess up and say stew earlier. This is a soup. So it's supposed to have a little juice, a little runniness. Oh yeah. And of course, it's gonna have a little hotness because I put two jalapeno peppers right out of the garden. Woo wee, they're hot too. Said it cost for three, but I only put two because I know mine's real hot. God, this smells awesome. Amen. All right. Let's try this. Oh, man. Let me get some of that beef. Oh, Lord. Look at that. Beef. Mushrooms. I'm trying to get a little everything. I probably should let this cool off a little longer, but it smells awful good. Man, that's good. It's hot, but it's good. <laughs> and I don't mean spicy. Oh, wait a minute. It's coming in now. <laughs> the spiciness is getting to me. Mm. Guys, this is awesome. 
you got rice cauliflower instead of rice, so there's no carbs in that hardly, if any. Uh, you got beef in this thing. You got everything you could ever want and makes a great meal. And it's really low carbs. So you can enjoy something, you know, like a cold beer. Speaking of that, and just like that, <laughs> I've got a cold beer, cold bush. Guys, I've worked hard today, done a lot of stuff in the yard, went hunting this morning, and I've been doing real good on my diet. As soon as I get my next weight, when I go to the physical, I'll let you know how much weight I've lost. Uh, just like my shirt says, Anheuser Bush, baby. I love these right here, they're awesome. And if you're drinking them out of a can, what better to do than use one of these beer handles from beerhandle.com. Check it out, it's just this easy. You put this right in the lip, there it is. You got a stein now. I'll put the link down below. None of these, I mean none of these links that I'm putting down below that I make any money off of. I don't make none. Doesn't matter. I do it for y'all. Just like my shirts, just like my, my these beerhandle.coms and the link, go to campmade.com. All that goes to somebody else, not me. I just do it so y'all can enjoy it like I enjoy it. This is y'all. Cheers. If I had an amber vessel or one of them vessels, I could put this amber fluid in it, but right now I'm drinking out of a can. It's old country boy way. I guess I could get me a mason jar and put my sticker on it. What do y'all think? Y'all get over and check this out. I hope you like it, because I sure do. It's pretty daggone awesome. Appreciate you, Bill Gaddy. Love you, brother. Y'all get over and check him out. Check out all the links down below and make you some great soup that when you know when you eat it, it's low carb, it's not gonna hurt you, and you can feed this to anybody and they ain't even gonna know it's not low carb. I'm telling you that it's that good. Y'all get on over here with the Getting's Good on Calvin's Corner 72. Appreciate every one of y'all, and thank you for hitting that like and commenting down below. Tell me what you think about this video, what you'd like to see different. And if you like it the way it is, let me know that too. Y'all come on back and see me now.